So there is this popular kind of like dark producing brand. They be be making stuff for uh for for a while now, but they are not very known. The the they have come out with a version two of their power dark. So this is the E one D A dark amplifier. It is uh this is this model they are calling it the V two point one. It's a upgrade to the uh, version one power deck from two years ago. Like that uh, headphone amp was quite popular. So what does this do that is different from the rest? So this te this technically can be powered off um, uh, most devices. There, they, it's it's really powerful. It doesn't kind of like use a battery it's uh it's uh it, it's it's quite uh, very unique when it came out the first time it was uh praised very well though it's uh it's it's gotten attention and um and and it's uh it's better this time around uh it supports android ios and it works very well the version one was quite popular. A lot of people bought it because it had the power to drive headphones, like full size headphones. Um, really had crazy amount of power. And the same thing applies to this. It's uh, it's coming with a very massive. Uh, it's coming with a very massive amplifier in it that can push push. 600 milliwatts in balanced output and about 320 milliwatts in single-ended mode um, so it's uh it's it's good enough for the most part it's not it's not uh your typical usb DAC uh, that don't really have enough power this have enough juice to power most things out there so it's uh, something that you have to look at the power deck 2.1 the it's uh it's 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 quite good overall it, it's it's really quite good overall i don't expect this to be for everybody because it looks bulky um it's not something that most people that care about um uh, that really care about the look like how they can move around with it would buy this some people that want to use it as a desktop uh, amplifier can buy it but this wouldn't be that portable setup that you go out with because you still need that wire to be connected so uh, most times it's not really ideal uh, for outdoor usage and that's pretty much my own assessment of that uh, in terms of um, in terms of uh, power uh, like i said it's 300 milliwatts 320 milliwatts into 32 ohms uh, about 580 milliwatts in balanced mode uh, that is about 600 it all depends it's, it's it's powerful enough at least it should be able to power uh, most earphones if not every earphone on the market and be able to power most headphones overhead headphones uh, it, it's 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 good enough for the most part and and uh, and it's been claimed that it, it sounds very clean uh, and should uh, provide a lot of uh, power that you would need for your for your headphones and IEMs that at least require that much power so that is it. I'll leave a link with this count in the description. If you're interested in it, do subscribe to our channel. Do like our content. People on social media. I'm going to see you guys next time.